Hey, Chappie here, and it's time for one of those, hopefully not boring, walkthrough reviews. So I have been traveling up from, where the hell was I? I was way down in Greytown and riding up the east coast of New Zealand. Um, just didn't like the idea of staying in Napier, don't like cities, so I pushed on, had a great ride from there over to a town called Wairoa, which is uh, by a river, which is over the back of the camp here, and came upon this campsite, checked it out on, on wiki camps in New Zealand, got a great rating and I can see why. It's just manicured beautifully, park-like, just have a look around here. Just a nice quiet little campsite. I was gonna stay one night, went back this morning, said to the guy that owns it here, top camp man, here's another 20 bucks, happy to stay another night. It is brilliant. Now I just take you for a walk around and you know the facilities, sure they've been here for a little while but these guys do stuff I haven't seen anyone do in a campsite. So aside from the fact they've got all the grounds beautifully manicured but in the facilities in the in the men's room sure it's the same in the ladies they they have towels out and they put signs up so that you wipe the bench down after you've used it and it is immaculate in there it is freaking immaculate there's even and believe me this is true there is pots of flowers in the men's room freshened every day by the look of it so how cool is that it's just a really really well maintained camp and if you have a look at it on wiki camps wairoa riverside camping ground you'll see it just gets a massive thumbs up from people that come here have a look inside this kitchen area now as i say the facilities are, are older but man Look at that, this is tidy in my own kitchen at home. <laughs> They've got towels out here, so everyone wipes the benches down. Look at that, it is just like clinical clean. How nice is that? So you can come over here, have yourself a nice cook up. All the facilities are here from your hot top plates, your microwaves, your oven, and a really nice good old solid timber table to sit at and have your evening meal, which I'm gonna do tonight. I figured why go out and waste money paying for sometimes badly cooked food when you can do it yourself on the barbecue over here. So tonight we're going to have some sirloin steak, a bit of salad and some kumara chips, which I'm looking forward to. Dig this. This here is a, I think what it was, <laughs> let's just see if I can get that in a shot, yeah. So you've got a hand mower in the front, welded to the forks of a bicycle. So I presume you get on there and do some, uh, some training. But over here, just nicely set up. Let's go for a walk, actually I haven't even seen the the river at this stage. So not often do I get on and do one of these vlogs for a, for a campsite. I only do it if they come into my top five register. And so far from where I've been around New Zealand, this would be my number one. Okay, you're not on a beach and you know, it's just a, just a small rural town. But if you're looking to break your journey traveling from Wellington, say up, like I'm doing up through Gisborne and around the East Coast, this would be a great place to come to and just uh, rest up for a couple of days. I've washed Ron Burgundy today, got the Harley all shining and gleaning. Look at this, people here have their permanent sort of, I presume it's like on a caravan on wheels, but they, uh, shit, this one's even got their own spa out front. <laughs> Check it out. Um, so I think that's supposed to be a caravan. But over there, you've got the river. And I gather there's a boat ramp there where people can put their boats in and go uh, water skiing. This one here, look at this, nicely set up. They got their own front veranda in there. But it's just a bloody brilliant spot. It's nice to have a campsite. We can actually put the pegs in the ground and the bastards don't hit a rock. Nothing pisses me off more when you're trying to smash your pegs and after a long day's riding and they just keep hitting rocks. Whereas here is just like your backyard would be at home, I presume. Nice and grassy, green, and plenty of tree coverage. When I checked in, uh, old mate that owns the camp over there, great top bloke, friendly. Uh, he said, you know, just set up wherever you want to set up, whatever looks good. So for me, I found the spot over here, which I reckon looked good because it was a little bit of shade from the trees if it was too sunny, although today it's been a little bit of rain. And uh, there you have it. I think there's some uh, motel style units up the back here as well. Uh, there's a backpacker's lodge type thing where I presume they do sort of more dormitory type accommodation. So for me, out of five, it's got to be all a four and a half. Really, you'd give it five, because the only thing I wouldn't give it five for is I'm not sitting on a beach, but at the end of the day, what a spot. Look at that, Ron Burgundy is gleaming. Over the far side there, there was a car wash bay where you've got a hose and you can wash your vehicles there. So that has come up a treat, nice and gleaming, and have been loving it. So there you have it. 
if you're traveling yourself uh, up through the east coast of New Zealand and you want a little couple of nights stop to just rest, relax and, and rejuvenate yourself, make it at the Riverside Caravan Park because it is just a top spot. Anyway, till next time, usual story, keep your eyes on the horizon and the knees in the breeze.